Hey, what's up guys? My name is Young Recluse and today I'm doing something very, very different. I've done something similar in the past, maybe like two videos in the past. Um, but what I do deals with the, you know, vocals. So I beatbox and I know a lot of you be asking like, what mic do you use? What mic do you use? Um, I use pretty a pretty to me it's expensive setup so i don't really recommend it when starting out but today i'm reviewing a cheaper alternative um which could actually really help a lot of you and i wish i knew about this uh, when i was looking for a mic because this is so insanely affordable for everything you're getting i didn't think this was possible but it, it very much is <laughs> so today we are unboxing and reviewing a mic by Tonar. This is the box. Um, it is the TC20 XLR condenser microphone. It comes with a mic, pot filters, like two different ones. Um, it comes with the XLR cable and it even comes with its own boom arm. And I'm not even going to say how much it is until the whole th this whole video is done. So make sure to, you know, <laughs> watch till the end. But we're just going to basically unbox things and, you know, I'm going to do it as much of a review as I possibly can. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so one cool thing that comes with this mic is it actually has a two year warranty. You'll have the card right here. I'm not sure if you have to buy this separately or not. I don't remember buying um, warranty on it. So the fact that it comes with warranty already is pretty cool. Of course, you get your little classic instruction manual. But now to get into, you know, the really nice things. All right, so it comes with the clamp for the actual boom arm. This is actually a really nice clamp. <laughs> this is actually a lot more sturdier than the one I actually have myself. The one I have is a lot more skinnier, while this one seems a lot more heavy duty in a sense. This whole area right here, it doesn't feel cheap either. This feels like fucking metal, <laughs> damn. Um, the only thing that might be plastic is this part, but like this, this, and you know, of course this, they're metal, so that's nice. Um, next thing you get is a shock mount this is a nice shock mount uh, i always have fun with these these are actually kind of difficult for me to work with um ooh, here we go i kind of want to save this for last what else do we have here we go yeah i'm saving this for last of course you get your xlr cable it actually looks decently long which is nice that's good because that means it can reach a good amount of ways it looks similar to the cord i have on my current mic which is good very very good then what I was just talking about was two pop filters. What I mean is you get an actual classic pop filter. This is gigantic, <laughs> but this is nice and it feels nice. Again, none of this looks cheap at all, but yet the price would tell me different. <laughs> and then you also get like more of a, a classic kind of condenser dynamic type mic. So you get one of these. I haven't used one of these in a very long time. I might test with this and the pop filter. I'm not sure. Um, and before we actually show off the beautiful thing because it looks so nice um, And we also have the boom arm app to show um, you also get velcro velcro straps um, It looks like you get four of them Damn these things stick <laughs> These things stick holy shit or two of them. Is it two of them? You know, honestly, I cannot tell No, it's it's four of them you get four you get four of them. I kind of wish they didn't stick them together because it's kind of hard to get them off. But that's also a good thing. It shows that they are very, very durable. But yeah, these are what they look like right here. You get about four of them, which I'm assuming will keep the cord, like cable management sufficient, which I like. Next up is the boom arm, which looks very nice. It is pretty short. I will say that it is pretty short. If this was a bit longer, I feel like it would do better. For people who have a bigger type setup than i do um so that's maybe the only thing i wish was different it does it is spring as well it's like spring adjusted so it's, it's a little hard to push down but it's easy to push up <laughs> and then last but not least this this mic there there i've reviewed a tonar mic before and they're so good in aesthetic and they're actually the usb mic i reviewed was also pretty good in um sound so i'm hoping the same thing goes for this but here's the mic this thing is so nice man it's so nice it's it, it's got weight to it too that's another thing it's got a lot of weight to it it feels nice again it does not feel cheap at all it's metal it's not plastic which is good 
I don't know how they've made this work, but I'm very happy they have. So you get a lot of things, um, which is really impressive. Now what I'm gonna do real quick is go ahead and set up you know what it looks like you know get some angles get a thumbnail potentially and then um we'll start testing out the actual audio all right guys real quick sorry if there's like buzzing in my uh mic it's because i'm using my camera mic it's not this i promise so real quick just want to say the mic looks really nice set up as is i do like it a lot let me zoom in real quick to show you guys uh there we go so I do really, really like it as is. The only problems I really have are the boom arm. Um, if you can deal with a shorter boom arm, then, you know, still go for it as long as the audio seems to be good when we review it in a second. Um, but it, it doesn't seem to have much range. It, it's got right here. Like this is perfect for me. So it kind of reaches my range. So it could work, it could work. It just feels very much more, a lot more restraining, I guess you could say, when trying to move the boom arm. That's the only, that's the only issue I'm having. But, you know, with overall though, like the aesthetic and how it looks, it looks really nice, I really do like it. Um, like I said, the clamp is very sturdy. The boom arm is very sturdy too. And the mic is very sturdy. So I really can't wait to now try it out. And you know, after I, do it i'm gonna listen back to it and give my critiques and give my overall opinion so yeah let's go ahead and move into that okay Ooh, it sounds very very weird hearing it back it does sound very clean though okay so and even me talking at the the low amount that i'm at it is picking me up very very well so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna test it from this distance and i might progressively move the mic back so i'm gonna move it up very close Talk as quiet as possible and then progressively move it back. So here we go. Here's the first one. Hello, hello, check, 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 one, two, one, two, check, 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 one, two, one, two. Go back here. Check, 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 one, two, one, two, check, 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 one, two. Check, 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 one, two, check, 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 one, two, one, two. All right, now I'm gonna test beatboxing with it because that's what I do on my beatboxer. <clears throat> so I'm gonna just do a few sounds, maybe a beat. And I'm gonna progressively move the bite the mic back. So volume warning just in case. I'm gonna go ahead and state that. Here we go. I can already tell you something. On one of the sounds I did this close, I did hear one of them um peak or cut out. So I definitely do not recommend doing anything this close. So we're gonna go ahead and move it back to here. All right, that sounded pretty solid. Move it all the way back here. All right. Now, for the sake of this review as well, I'm not going to add any like amplification or any sort of mix on my commentary for this section. So that way you guys get the, the more raw um, audio. I want to make sure you guys get a more realistic feel. Now, do know that you could probably use like a voice meter, FL Studio. You could use Audacity, which is what I'm using um, if you want to increase your, um, your sound quality. But for this video specifically, I'm not going to increase anything. I'm going to leave it as is. Um, next thing I want to try is keyboard because I know some of you might be gamers. Um, so real quick, we're going to try uh, just typing and we're going to try it from every angle again. So here, back and back. So let me go ahead and just start clicking on my mouse. Okay, that's just me hammering it. Let's just do it like casual. Now the keyboard, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start hammering it. I had to be careful because of audacity. <laughs> and now we're just going to do normal. All right. Now we're going to move it back. That's normal. Hammer. All right. Hammer on the mouse. 
and now just light like normal and now last test the mic is literally directly over the keyboard that's normal and now hammer okay mouse now hammer now I'm gonna talk real quick at this distance and move it back in. Hey yo, what's up guys? My name's Young Recluse. How you guys doing? Yo, 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 yo. Okay, move it back to me about right here. Yo, 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 what's up? What's up guys? How you guys doing? Check, check, check. One, two, one, two. And then close to me. Hey guys, Young Recluse here. Check, check, check. One, two, one, two. Check, check, check. One, two. Okay. All right, I think those were some good tests. I'm going to go ahead and listen back to it, see if I can pick up anything, write some notes down. And uh, yeah, see you guys in like literally a split second. Here we go. <laughs> All right, guys. So from what I can tell, this mic is actually really, really solid. Not going to lie. This thing came out very clean, clear, and crisp, like I said in the first thing. The three notes I wrote down were this. Clean, clear, and crisp. It has a decent range to pick up voice and as well as beatboxing if you do that. Um, and it also does have potential to clip if too close, but it was only on one sound and I might have gotten too loud. So just be careful. Like if you have the mic that is close to you, just be careful. Um, I do advise as well as to, um, you know, if you're using like Audacity or any other like audio software, like an interface that can pick up your voice and that you can edit, I would definitely like add like some equalization, compressor if you can, um, normalization, uh, amplify, you know, things like that. Uh, just to make it a little bit louder if it's too quiet. I do know that although it does have a decent range to pick up voice, um, it does get a lot softer compared to like my Audio Technica. If I were to get pretty far from that, I feel like that would, no, actually no way. Let me change that real quick. Let me change that because I'm wrong about something. Let me change that. It's actually kind of a downfall that it can pick me up from like right here. Like it kind of is because um, I'm pretty sure that when I was doing the typing test and like the mouse test, it was probably picking up a lot of things more than the audio technical would. So I feel like this mic does pick up a little bit more background noise potentially compared to my audio technica um but i definitely do recommend this because if you made it this far this is by far the cheapest xlr mic i've ever gotten and that i'm very very satisfied with um like for the price and for the things you get in the quality this mic is actually amazing if you have an audio interface like say for like um a behringer uh, what's it called euphoria youtube or something like that or if you have what i have which is the focus right scarlet solo um if you ha or a mixer or you know things of that nature that has like phantom power um this mic is a go um because this mic literally will cost you around i think 50 to 60 dollars like like it's like a brand new video game <laughs> like it costs like it costs so little and it's so nice like and i also can hear this in my headphones too it does kind of have that hiss hiss you know with like the s's s -s -s -s. it's got like that harsh tone so it, it might be a little too crisp <laughs> i just heard it now um but overall i'm still very satisfied because i could i could bust a beat like I can just be very casual and if I'm like streaming or something, I can talk at this level. Just be careful if you get loud because if you get loud, you're probably going to make this mic freak out and clip. So just be careful. I do rec- if I were to pick a good range with this mic, I would recommend going about right here. I would recommend right here because I feel like right here it can pick up your voice pretty well. Shout out to Tonar by the way uh, for wanting me to review this mic. Uh, it has been a pleasure and has been an honor and this mic is sick. Um, please make sure to check out the description box where you will find three links. Uh, if you live in Europe there, or, you know, the UK, there will be a UK link to where you can buy this mic. If you live in the U S there will be a U.S. link. And then there's also the official link. So I'm taking that link is for, you know, just anybody. If you want to buy this mic, um, I really do recommend it. Please make sure to check out Tonar. They are an amazing company, very nice people. Um, and they have very good quality like products like their USB mic that I reviewed not too long ago Maybe like I think last year that mic was great and this mic is like better like they're improving so much like an XLR mic That comes with a boom arm That comes with pop filters. Hell wait. I just realized I don't have a pop filter on hang on. All right guys I'm not a fan 
of pot filters, especially that one, it might be a little too big. <laughs> Either that or I'm just a complete idiot. But I just now put on the foam, the foam version, and I'm gonna see if it calms down the clipping. So check, check, check. S -s 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 -s. All right, so the S's aren't as sharp and they're not as harsh, but I can still hear it just a tad bit. But I'm not, but I'm not complaining. This is like, like I said, the, the value of everything you get <laughs> is so, is so high, like. It's crazy. This is like very high quality to me. Like I feel like if if you wanted to have like a nice start out, like if you're a streamer, if you're trying to make YouTube videos, or if you're even a beatboxer, or a singer, you know, things like that. I feel like this mic accomplishes everything you need it to. This mic is so good and I love it. I might actually start using it myself. I, I kind of do want to try it out. Either that or you never know. Maybe in the future, you know, we'll do a little something, something. You know what I mean? Hint, hint. <laughs> but no, for real. Shout out to Tonar. This is the TC20 XLR microphone review, unboxing, testing. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully you guys enjoyed my review. And hopefully you guys go and copy this because I feel like it will very much work for you. Um, you know, there are cheap mixers and um, audio interface uh, equipment out there uh, such as the Behringer uh, was it the U2 the UM2 is something like that I think that alone is like 60 bucks so you could pick one of those up this mic for about 60 bucks it'll cost you around 120 to 130 depending on like tax and shipping in your country but like trust me if you want a good like a really really good starter um, uh, setup I guess you could say this is probably the best thing you could go for I would definitely recommend this mic to anybody new or even to people that just need an upgrade and it's a cheap alternative too so like if you need like a low budget to me this is like a really great low budget mic so either way hope you guys enjoyed my review just know that this ending commentary did have like amplification and normalization on so just know that as well uh, i did want to point that out the test and review however did not but if you did enjoy my review and my unboxing of the tonar tc20 xlr microphone please make sure to drop a like subscribe comment and share turn on that bell notification stay up to date with me the channel and the gang if you want more from me you can check out the description box you can also check out the rest of my channel and see what all i do um also if you want to cop this mic like i said i will leave links in the description box to the us link the uk link and the overall uh, website link i'm pretty sure is um the link i have um also i'm gonna also leave a link to a cheap alternative audio interface or as well as my audio interface that way for y'all that need to get like you know like phantom power source um you guys have that option down in the description box below i'm probably gonna link the scarlet solo and as well as the Behringer one that I kept bringing up because one is, they're both great quality, but it's just kind of like you decide what your budget is in a sense. So either way, it's been your boy, Young Recluse. I love you guys like always. Uh, what else was I gonna say? <laughs> Hopefully this was informative. Hopefully this helped and I'll see you guys next videos. Peace.